Okay. Uh, don't know if you could see that, but we're here. With a Nintendo 2DS uh, review. I got it this Christmas. It looks pretty neat from what I've seen. See, look, I got this case. And interestingly enough, I got a multi-tool, which is useful in its own ways, for sure. But... For now, really, all I'm gonna really use it for is the knife to cut things and open them. And my hammer, because I have a cork board uh, over there. So, yeah. I wouldn't actually try to mess with it like that. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna be actually at a trip to Texas soon. I'm not telling you what city or specifically, but I will. So I will, I definitely won't be able to upload for until, for after this week, I won't be able to upload till at least January 7th. And probably won't until later too. I could get a video out. It's just, I'm on vacation. I also got this really cool pen. It's an Alex Mechanical Pencil, and I love mechanical pencils. They're great. They are your best buddy. Heck, I even could do... Oh, gosh, this touch. Uh, oh, I also got a <laughs> desk lamp for my desk that I got here. And I got... Uh, you know portable chargers? Yeah, I got one of those, but my, uh, my parents' car already has a portable charger plug-in spot, and I have a portable charger adapter, but this works. You can also fit two in, so it's better. This even itself has, you plug the desk into the wall, and you can charge, uh, you can charge up your stuff here but yeah this is a you touch it in any way and it goes off which can be annoying but i'm gonna have to get used to it some way or another i will i can actually review this after i have enough time to look into this i got no man's sky surprisingly which I was not expecting from people. I did not hear it was that good of a game either. But I'll give it some... I'll give it quite a bit of time. And I'll tell you about it. But I also got Nier Automata. I, once again, will probably be recording... Trove, No Man's Sky, and Nier Automata. Nier Automata, I will probably take a quite a bit longer to get to streaming. Because... I'm going to go through it so many times before I, I'm actually going to have a time where I can go through the entire game and stream it. I might go back to streaming Bloodborne, but it's not the kind of game I'm that interested into anymore. And I'm definitely going to do an expert run through Terraria. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the actual review. So yeah, looking at what we got from it, or what I got, came with some AR cards, which last time I opened it up, either I didn't get them for my 3DS XL, or I missed them. Uh, I still kept the instruction manual. Here's my 3DS data. What's kind of obnoxious is this is an SD and that require, is required for my 3DS, but this has a micro SD which was from it, but I had a bigger one in here originally that I swapped for it because it was like four times as big. Because that was 4G, this is like 16 Evo, which is almost 16 
gig bytes. It's estimated to it. 16 Evo is 16 gigabytes, basically. So yeah. Uh, this is a nice. I like the design here. This is a nice design. I really think it's cool. Uh, personally, it actually came with. A charger over there but I already have my one that I just bought separately from my 3ds because my other charger just doesn't seem to work good enough uh, I got a new case too I got two new games actually I want to I really would have if I could <laughs> recorded this these before I got into them too far but nah keep in mind by the way I got all of this stuff today uh so this is basically first impressions not quite though so yeah I got ultra moon and I got here Majora's mask I don't like this case though by the way review for this case bad because it has only th why do you put three slots? <laughs> That's like ridiculous. I've seen people with slots of like five billion games. No, not slots of five billion, but they have like five billion freaking 3DS games. Uh, I have Super Mario Maker and uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. So, and then on top of Majora's Mask 3D. Majora's Mask is a good game. I really like it. What, quite a bit more than Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time was okay, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna review those on my second channel sometime. I'm gonna review this console in here, just, this is, uh, sort of what I'll do. Sort of an idea of the kind of things I'm going to talk about on my channel. It's just reviews of stuff. This is the basics. I'm not going to do durability tests or anything. I also have Fire Emblem Echoes. Why did I take that out, though? I'm too... I'm st stuck on it. <laughs> to be fair, it's hard. And, yeah, this is it. My thoughts. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of people say that they really like this for protection. Now, uh, <laughs> for protection, because this used to slide out. But I've also hear people on the other end say, uh, it's weird because you can't take out games and swap them this fast. But I personally, I actually like this design better. It looks cleaner. It looks like you're not playing with some toy. It looks like an actual console. It reminds me of the Vita, and it's really cool how this is designed in general. Uh, the micro SD decision. I I really understand. <laughs> I really don't like the. I'm fine with the headset, headphone jack placement. And, but the stylus is a bit questionable. I'm, you really, I really preferred just sliding it out here. It was really, really easy. Uh, and this stylus size, no, just no. It's hard to control without, <laughs> you might as well use your fingers if you didn't have sharp nails like me, which I need to cut them, but that's, that's not something I'm going to talk about on this. Uh, I did have a cleaner for 3DS stuff. Where did it go, though? That's the question. Um. Yeah, and I actually got to try AR games for the first time, which is really, really cool. I'll get to cleaning it later. As you can see, it's very... 
easy to pick up fingerprints on it. That really with how many there are, it bugs me seeing all these. Uh, so yeah, uh, the C stick, it kind of surprised me how ridiculously inefficient it was. I found it was really inconsistent with turning it correctly, because you try to do a turn and you move your hand over and it would feel weird if you wanted to actually turn without it feeling weird, duh. Uh. The screen I like uh, a lot with what they did for it. This feels a lot smoother than the 3DS. It definitely at least can handle a bit more. Uh, let's say <laughs> specifically Super Smash Bros. fights because a lot of people had problems with that on the 3DS. Okay, you, probably someone will come across this someday who's had the same problem as me. Uh, the home button here, yeah, that's fine. I don't, I mean, the screen's bigger. So yeah. Or no, it's about the same size. They cut back on the size. I like the, so by the way, I, I'm stating this again, this looks really cool on the front. It's a neat design with Nintendo on it, too. It looks really cool. Uh, the buttons are cool. This is nice. Keep in mind, this is the first time having a new 3DS or new 2DS system. So I'm not familiar with some of the stuff they decided to do for these things. Uh, I heard the 3DS has custom design, like custom things you can switch out, but this doesn't, of course, and it doesn't have a 3D, of course, neither of which I really care about. And, Uh, it's smooth. The buttons are working. This button here is kind of... I, I really do get it, for sure. I, 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 it makes perfect sense. But I just prefer it, like, especially what the DSi, at least, I can say it for sure did right, is the off button being right here that felt really nice to have there and you can play games of course pretty nice that way it's not like it's it's not like you're doing that when you're playing you're like this or at least I am so it works fine for sure uh, first, pro first problem for this I did find, though, is not with the actual device. One of my main problems, so for right now, just because it's Christmas, I need updates on three of my games. <laughs> okay. And it's like, sorry, service has been shut down. I, don't, I can't convert my save data from SD cards. I can't do that on my computer. So it's like, okay, I'll just go on the thing, sign in, and to download my old games as well. That's the first thing I try. It's like, nope, can't work. Maintenance is, uh, not, the eShop is under maintenance, and it kind of annoys me to, for them to do that right on this. That's not a smart decision, because that's when a lot of people are going to be wanting to get the game. For sure. Now, it, it does look really nice. I've seen a lot of people... Well, no, I saw this one person complain about, like, IPS. Uh, and the other viewing thing for screens. I'm pretty sure mine is...
Mine is for sure. IPS on the top. I'm not sure about the bottom though. It looks like based on what they show. Uh, a lot of people complain about dead pixels. I cannot find a problem here with that though. Uh, my other one had a huge problem with that. I showed you that, though. Still have it. <laughs> Just in case I need it to do stuff. Like, I'll probably keep it until I can say I've transferred my data from it. And same with the SD card for this. In this, if it breaks down somehow. I doubt it will happen anytime soon. And I got this in this year. I got this still because I can't get a Switch until next year at least. And it's probably better to get this for now. Because there's so many 3DS games out right at the moment. And actually still now already, even though there's a ton of Switch games coming out, especially third party games... There's really a lot of 3DS games I still really want over Switch games. There's like... Four... Five... Four or... Huh... It's like six games I want on the Switch. There's like a hundred still. <laughs> I haven't gotten on the 3DS. There's more possibilities for what I can get on the 3DS. And it's not like it's going to go out of the market anytime soon. It's still going to be there till 2020. I can guarantee that at the least. Because there's no way they're going to do that. They're not going to make a console that lives for three years and then never even sells in the markets. <clears throat> you don't do that. That's just really stupid to do to people. From playing games, I found it's pretty neat. It works well for sure um so yeah i will actually with this stuff i'll probably convert this not don't don't <laughs> if you found that uh If you've tried to scan that there, I'd be mad. Okay, don't. Don't scan it. I will. You can, I can legit sue people for that. I'm pretty, well, no, I can't because it's too small. It's just a small bit. If someone took it and it was a 20 and they scanned it and they did that for theft, I could sue them, though. <laughs> like, even with that, not a whole lot, but I could sue them for some money. Okay, cool. Now... Uh, one thing I like to note... What am I saying? A thing that's about this 2DS that is that it's so similar to the 3DS, which I like. It's not like they made it an entirely new device just because it's 2017. <laughs> I cut myself. I 
actually, I did not mean to do that. Oh my. <laughs> But yeah, it's the it's reviewed overall. I think it's a good device. It's definitely a step up from every other <laughs> 3DS thing, I'd say. It's better than all the other devices. For 3DS and 2DS, especially it's 2DS. Because it was made with a cheap budget in mind. And it's, yeah. Jeez, I can't believe I actually did something that stupid. But yeah, thanks for watching. This is a cool device. I give this on a scale of 1 to 10. A 9.3 because of the games and because of generally the device. It works well. It has the same processing stuff as the 3DS, I've learned. I didn't talk about that till now, but that just adds up to all the fact that it's a 3DS, okay? It's like, it can do so much regardless. You, you don't, a 2DS already does enough to do a lot of really cool stuff that'll keep you more entertained than playing through every single Switch game that's been out. And the only ones I want are Splatoon 2, Arms, by name with Isaac Elf Afterbirth, Super Meat Boy, uh, whatever the one game was for it that came out on the Switch or is coming out on the Switch. I'm not sure about it yet. Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but my friend has it and he plays it on the Wii U. And Super Mario Odyssey. So, yeah. They're all games I think are really freaking cool that I want there, but overall, yeah, there's cooler games on 3DS and stuff, and there's a lot more. I just like that. But system-wise, yeah, it's a 9.3 out of 10 for me. Uh, with my money, though, uh, like I was gonna say, I'm gonna buy Ever Oasis, which is... Jeez, it's like one of the neatest little games ever. Nintendo did a good job on it. Or whoever made it, I'm not sure. And this is, it's a cool game. And for the fact that it's on a 3DS, uh, you know it's not gonna be freaking Breath of the Wild up there kind of thing but it's really done well and it feels it really does feel really nice and it you, it may as well be breath of the wild because <laughs> it's just that it's fun and it's more vibrant <laughs> and there's even <laughs> a bit of town management and stuff, but it's mainly an RPG, and you can collect stuff and make your oasis, oasis, uh, with quotes, bigger, and have more people in it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this somewhat, somehow, some way. Oh gosh. Uh, bye.